Hey everybody, Jay Barino here. Welcome back. Playing some more StarCraft II. Heart of the Swarm. This is Infested, the first Skyger station mission. What you got for us, Stukov? The main entrance of the Skyger platform is heavily defended. We must dislodge this Dominion force before we can assault the lab itself. Alright, unit mutation should be pretty simple. I don't plan on making too many different types of units. Just check the swarm host. We get a free infestation pit because this is the infester's mission. Alright, attacking both ground and air is perfect. That's fine with me. Everything else, yeah, again, I think it's fine the way it is. Don't plan on making too much else anyway. Mostly infesters. Carrying up to level 47. I think we're going to have her be a bit more passive this upcoming mission because we got a lot of spellcasters with the infesters. So we'll go chain reaction for the passive attack. Kinetic blast. Boop in those bunkers. Automated extractors is fine. Let's go with mend. That's going to synergize really well with infesters, you'll see. And then malignant creep. The namesake of the mission is infested. So we want to be spreading creep like crazy, so that malignant creep will help a lot. Alright, so we want to get 60 kills with parasitic-dominated Terran units, and then infest all of the garrisons and don't lose any of the virophages that we set up. Those are our achievements. This lift is the only entrance into the laboratories. It is also the second most heavily defended location in Dominion space. So they've got a lot of Marines. We'll use those numbers against them. Bring in my infestors. We're going to implant virophages of these garrisons. Once they've infested the Terrans inside, I'll use them to secure the landing bay. We'll clear it before the Dominion can even react. Alright, we got some campaign infestors. They're extremely strong. Instant cast, undodgeable fungal growth. Go ahead and tell us about it, Kerrigan. Go ahead. Use fungal growth on those marines. They won't escape its grasp. Can't move. Move to that garrison, quickly. Full health combat shield marines. Killed with fungal growth. Alrighty. I want control of that banshee. I'm going to take everything possible. Just as many different units as I can on this map. An infester is out of energy. Infestors can consume Zerg units, including the infested Terrans, to regain energy. They can also consume themselves, like each other, I should say. So if you have a small group, it should work pretty well in the sense that we've got Kerrigan with Mend. So we just constantly be consuming as much as possible. We're going to take everything possible and then kind of hold these units for the second phase of the map. Keep consuming. I'm going to take these two. Use parasitic domination on the Dominion's heavy ordnance. Turn their weapons against them. Keep eating. Honestly, if they eat each other, it's a little bit better because they'll get most of their energy back fully and they shouldn't kill each other. There and there. And then we're going to spread lots and lots and lots of creep. Extremely important on this map. You can see how fast the infested go on creep, and they slow down so much off of creep. It makes a big difference. I'm going to consume everything in these bunkers as well. Not consume, but, you know, take control of them. Everything. Everything will be mine on this map. All right, you all just keep attacking. And then keep consuming here. Spread that creep. We're just kind of poisoning ourselves for the second half of the mission as well. Kill every last one of these so I'm going to take bastards. medics. Eat. Continue to eat. As long as the infesting can get up to the front, they can help so much. It's just getting them up there. So once this bunker blows up, we're going to take the stuff in here as well. Look out, Miss Medic. You are very valuable. I will just let them do their thing. Keep spreading this creep. Eventually that bunker will die. It's burning down. They don't have the automatic repair stuff. Okay, take and take and I think that's it. Okay, there you go. So why don't you all go ahead and infest this. We get a free creep tumor each time we get a garrison as well. We'll poise our creep tumors to start spreading them for later. Okay, good start. We got a ton of units already. And that's going to be the bulk of our army, our infested Terran units. The Zerg are infesting the facility. Release the gas. My 
My queen, the gas is destroying the infested Terrans. We can always infest more. They're only killing themselves. Chemical warfare. Efficient delivery mechanism. Gas unstable. Once Dominion reserves run out, we'll require time to synthesize more. And that's when we resume our attack. Until then, we'll hold here and defend the Virophages. Alright, pretty typical stuff to get started here. We just want to poke in with Kerrigan. Again, we, we boop those bunkers, as I like to say. We get our energy back for free on the Infestors, which is nice. So Kerrigan, move on in here. I would like to take Marauders and Science Vessels. There are more garrisons nearby. Infest them, and our swarm will grow. And I'll go ahead and take this too for the future. And you know what? What time it is? Is bunker booping time? It is time. And then for now, yeah, we just we spread the creep, but. We can wait until the next group of Infested Terran. Infestation successful. This garrison is now under the swarm's control. I'm gonna get a second hatchery, and then pretty soon a group of units will come to to kill the first Virophage. It's the only mercy we can afford. Them. So I'm gonna move everything over here, and we can kill stop them before they destroy the Virophage. Calm down. It's fine. It's fine. Ah! Is it this time? Kill them before they do, do the thing. All right, Kerrigan, why don't you come on over here? I'm going to take the medevacs. Consume each other. That's fine, as I had mentioned. It's kind of hard to get to those fire bats back there. Then we're going to move everyone up here and start attacking into these other bunkers and then just keep making drones to get started. Lots and lots of drones, and we just kind of hang out up here until we can get this creep spread. And, you know, take control of all these units, just everything possible. So, like, we can fungal growth this, lure over the Banshee, take the Banshee, back up the Banshee, get it healed. Then we can fungal growth this and take control of the tank. Cool stuff, and then we move up with Kerrigan, we do some bunker booping. There we go. And now we're pretty much prepared to do whatever we want moving forward. The Dominion gas supply has run out. They will need time to recharge. Attack alongside the infested. Kill anyone in our way. Okay, and of course I'm going to get supply blocked. So let's go ahead and take this garrison. We're doing fine with our infestors right now. Come over and eat this, and then Kerrigan, naturally, you know what time it is. Tons of fire-based enemies. Okay, I'm going to take these medics as well. And then just eat each other, as I had mentioned, and then you can all get mended by Kerrigan. And then we can just F2 and attack. So let's do that. That's our optional objective. Let's also get some more... Let's get some Swarm Queens, and we have to spread the creep. Excellent. Your creep is infesting the first facility now. Next Okay, our first group of infestors is still alive. They're probably going to end up dying later, but that's okay. We have a little bit of defense set up at one of the Virophages, and we're going to try to defend the other ones after the gas gets shut off next time. We're going to set up that base. We don't need much more gas, so let's move on in. I'm going to take control of more stuff. So we're just going to attack through here. They're going to take these. Back up, Mr. Infester. And then Bunker Boopin. have a snack, and then we just move up. We keep healing with Kerrigan. We cannot heal our, uh, we unfortunately can't heal our, uh, mechanical units. That would be a little too strong, I'd say. Back up, buddy. No need to, no need to do that. The has begun venting gas. The infested will die. 
Expected attack. Guard our virophages. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start getting. This platform ain't gonna clear itself. Let's get cooking. I'm gonna start getting some swarm hosts now, and we can go ahead and start saturating this base as soon as possible. They should, yeah, fly right through here. I sense more garrisons across the platform. I prefer if this doesn't get away. There we go. And then let's back up. We'll infest this later. I think the next one goes to, like, this general area, so we'll be prepared for it. We're just gonna sit here and stop them from dropping directly on top of our virophages. That's it. Overlord time. And then upgrades. We can get plus two for our swarm hosts. This is a really good spot for our swarm hosts to sit, is up here. Okay, keep spreading creep. Give me some more creep tumors while you're at it. I don't need much more gas, but why not get this set up? One of these is sneaking through. I refuse. We got this big group here, so let's... Take some medics and then big fungal growth. Yeah, see, like, I think it's random which one they go to, but we have so much creep, we should be able to get over here and kill this stuff before it's too late. Good work, swarm hosts. They're not even turning around. Oh, that was close. That was close. All right, let's head on back down here. Go ahead and hit that. And I am going to go ahead and head up to the next area. Give me some more infestors. And I think right up here is a fine place for our swarm hosts. Okay, so keep getting this saturated. I'm going to get some more overlords as well. Really just waiting for the gas to come back. Or to turn off, rather. So we just kind of set these guys up here. I'm going to move Kerrigan in here. I think that they try to nuke us up here. We got little Voltron uh, Predators. There are five of them originally. Okay, let's move on in. There's some ghosts in here that try to nuke us. We could probably just take them. Yeah, let's uh, let's just take this guy. Make sure to yeah cancel that. Don't don't finish the nuke, please. The gas has run out, my queen. Our infested have resumed the attack. Okay, on this next section, I'm gonna get more swarm hosts. Get a bunch more overlords. Let's move. I'm gonna set up some. You're doing well. The Dominion is losing control of the platform. There's I'm gonna set up some spine base. crawlers. Don't give them an inch. Okay, and then throw down a mend. I'm gonna boop these bunkers. Our, our uh, swarm hosts are gonna help with the attack as well. So let's just kind of help our infested through this area, and then we're gonna go and take control of another area. So keep making drones, and I'm gonna set up a small group here of spine crawlers everybody move on up and then rally to i guess here or kerrigan is fine i'm gonna head up here and go for the next set of uh, bonus objectives and such should have taken that it's a little too late now that's okay don't step on that beacon too early because there are bunkers here that will that will uh kill the virophage pretty much right away they do target your spellcasters. Okay, let's take this. You guys can set up over here. They are taking out some of my... Our infestation spreads to another garrison. Big some of my creep tumors. Keep going. The entrance is within our grasp. Move on up. Let's take this. Just get some Thors up here by the option, and we'll take both of these. Hello? One of you, please? Okay, good. Make you, what is it this time? So we got some defense set up. I'm going to set up a little more just in case, and then our upgrades are looking good. Uh, get a few colonies here. Spread this creep. Spread this creep. Again, the most important thing that we can do here is spread our creep for our... The Dominion is once again venting gas onto the platform. ...for our units. And we can leave some, you know, some of these uh, swarm hosts here as well. We still have these infestors. I'm going to send them maybe over to this side just in case some stuff gets through, but I think we'll be okay. Yes. It's just they can be a little sneaky with where they send stuff. We just kind of split our units up. Let's get our last bonus objective. 
We can get a few more infestors and swarm hosts. And sure. This platform ain't gonna clear itself. Let's get cooking. There. All three facilities are infested. The biomass within is yours. Get that bridge extended and wipe out that hive. I want the Zerg off my platform. Okay, they're about to send a pretty large attack across this bridge, but we should be able to intercept it no problem. Our infestors also. I built some aberrations for funsies. I lost a bunch of my... Oh, they're still inside this flippin' medevac. Okay. Give me some more infestors. That's fine. I got a nice little group here. And we got defense at all of the outlying areas. I want it. I'm gonna take the science vessel if it ever comes back towards this. Yeah, there we go. Go ahead and get it, buddy. So we got a bunch of healing. We should be able to stop them from attacking us. We have all of these uh, swarm hosts as well, which should be useful in pushing up this ramp. And we got some defending some of our outlying areas. I will take all of these, and then we're going to start trying to push up this ramp. Which may be a, be a little ill-advised. But one of the keys is we have to get up this ramp, so... Let's spread some creep along the edges. Should have taken that Thor, that's okay. We're getting kills with our infested units, that's all that matters. There's like one tank up here who's causing me problems. Let's just waddle on up there and take him. I don't understand why all my infestors went up here. I just hit E on, on one of those. Fine, I'll make more infestors. Getting sloppy with my infestors now. The gas is coming back uh, in nine seconds so that we should should be able to sweep to the end now if we just make aberrations and zerglings. The typical stuff. The Terrans have run out of gas. I want to just make sure we keep spreading creep. So we have more infestors in here. Just make sure that you're eating each other. Healing with Kerrigan. I hear some... Battle cruisers. Let's take these. And back them up so that they can at least get healed. Take and take. Man, these infestors are pretty silly. I, you know, I, I go to use one of them, and then they all go and get, get themselves killed. Okay, this is looking good. I think we've got, we haven't lost any of the virophages, virophages. We have all the bonuses. I think that's it. There's really nothing else to do. Let's go ahead and move up with our swarm hosts to help clean this end section up. Infested doing good over there. And like, let's kill every single thing except this junk, just for fun. I assume we have more than enough kills on all of our parasitic dominated troops. What we can actually do is give ourselves some vision. And then take these two things. Don't let the Zerg get inside. Kill them all. So that was a nice little addition that, that we can take, and then I'll continue spreading creep to help the infest to just get up to the front. And like, yeah, let's bomb in there. Right, we got all these extra infestors. Just eat each other. Again, eat anything, and then Kerrigan. Mend. And we got our battle cruisers sitting up here. We still have some of these tanks. This one's fun if you get in the habit of actually using spellcasters besides Kerrigan. You get this far to the campaign, and you're sort of exclusively been using Kerrigan. You know, now we've, we've been microwing some swarm hosts and infestors. It's actually quite fun to do that as opposed to exclusively using Kerrigan. Uh, you know, keeping her passive to just destroy some static defense is actually quite uh, enjoyable if you're able to use some of the other stuff that the Zerg have to offer here. Here, take this too. My queen, the swarm is ready to enter the laboratory at your command. Good. It's time we found out what's waiting inside. Okay, we didn't lose any virophages. We almost did. Virophages? Virophages? Virophages, we'll say. I almost lost that one. I'm pretty sure it's random which ones they decide to attack at which times. The first one seems to always be that bottom left one, but then they might go to the right, they might go to the bottom. I'm not really sure how it's decided. We killed 117 units with parasitic-dominated units. You only needed 60. 
So we're good with both of these. The mastery was to, to beat this before the third gassing. There were three gases, gassings, so we uh, we almost made that, but not really. Uh, what, it, what it comes down to is just having to go super, super quick. What I'd recommend for a lot of these masteries, especially the ones that require very fast timing, is to just play it through the mastery archives because it assumes that you're going to the specific location the latest into the game possible. So you have access to as many of the evolutions and mutations and Kerrigan abilities as possible at that point in the game. So you can make a specific plan around going really, really fast. I'm just sort of rationalizing why I'm not going for these mastery achievements, but you've already heard me talk about it. So let's go back to the Leviathan. Maybe I'll do a separate series one day with mastery walkthroughs, but not really on my list right now. I have been contacted by another brood mother. Ryloth has been keeping her large brood out of the conflict. She is impressed with you and wishes to bring her brood back into the swarm. Brood mother Ryloth, hear me. Take your brood to Jontor 2. This is where the Dominion manufactures their newest ships. Destroy that world for the swarm. It shall be done, my queen. You have unselected abilities, my queen. You can review them within your chamber. Don't tell me what to do, Isha. How many times do I have to tell you? All right, let's talk to everybody. Skyger Station, the Dominion secret weapons lab. This is the heart that makes hybrid breeding program. Tell me about the hybrid. Zerg and Protoss DNA combined. Something that should not be possible. And these creatures will follow Mengsk's orders? He believes they will. I am not so sure. There is a familiar presence coming from the labs. We must be prepared for anything. Tyrannus Narud backwards. Hold on, Jim. I will come for you. Your will guides us. This place is very far out of the way. But it's guarded as if it were Korhal itself. The Terrans must greatly prize that which lies within. But technology at this scale... This is beyond Minsk's engineers. Perhaps they have help from something greater than themselves. If there are any answers, they are inside. This place of metal and stone. Why? You're not impressed? The Primal Zerg couldn't build something like this. I do not need a wall. I will evolve armor. I do not need a weapon. I will evolve claws. The Toolmakers might create something stronger than your armor and claws. Their tools stay the same. I collect. I change. Abathur's got nothing to say. Terrans with strong knowledge of essence manipulation. Implausible. Many new evolutions inside lab. Many secrets. Organism Stukov, product of incredible workmanship. Perfection, deep in the core, in strands. Uh, yeah, you've been eating a lot of people, Abathur. We know. Okay, when we come back, we'll play the Hydralisk Evolution mission. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you then. Bye now.